This is the Pythonic Accountant, and today I'm going to dig a little bit more into a part of this uh, application that somebody had a question about. Um, so if you hadn't seen the previous videos, just to refresh, I asked ChatGPT, uh, the code interpreter, which is now called Advanced Data Analysis, to create me a basically a web application that can do some basic accounting general ledger activities and went through just a couple iterations with it really didn't take that long to get it to this point where i have this you know working web application that does some basic accounting entries so it's really cool uh, this is running on uh, an app called streamlit which is a third-party python library which just makes it look nice and clean out of the box and all i did was just take the code that ChatGPT gave me and ran it <laughs> so i didn't even code any python myself i just asked it what to do you know this app and took the files that it gave me and boom got it up and running um, and just to kind of refresh again if you hadn't seen this or if you had this is a good refresher um, i can change the date for what the entry is related to i can select the business event that i want and let's show uh, purchase of inventory because that's what the question was about. Um, I'm going to ignore the amount for now and this is the cool feature that uh, somebody asked about and I, I really like it as well as I asked it to allow me to upload a PDF file and in that PDF file we'll have some information and uh, let's see this is going to pull out the sales tax the total amount and then the uh, guitar and amplifier and it actually creates the description here for the guitar and amplifier and then all I have to do is hit record event. And the cool thing is it actually now records the uh, increase in inventory and the increase in my accounts payable by that amount, the $2,353.95. You can see now my inventory and my AP have gone up. So the question is, well, how does it, <laughs> how does it do that? Like, what are, what's the code look like that uh, can actually create that? And really cool that it was automated too. So I'm gonna flip over to look at the underlying code here and just do a quick walkthrough. I haven't really analyzed this in detail. And um, again, as I mentioned, this is totally automatically created for me. So this just has, um, the, the application itself is in this app.py, and this is kind of a standard um, streamlit application here. And but what I'm gonna go into is the uh, PDF processing piece. Um, first, I just wanna show you where the PDF upload happens. So this is where it happens right here. I create, it creates a variable called uploaded file. And all this has to do is ST, which is what Streamlit's imported as, dot file uploader, and choose an invoice PDF file, type people's PDF. Um, that's it. Like just by creating that variable, this creates the input box where I can upload a file. And then here is how it handles if once a file gets uploaded, it'll do all these things. But where I wanna show you is the actual part that processes the PDF. So it's using a library called PDF Plumber, which if you've seen my previous videos, I use that a lot. And I actually asked ChatGPT to use PDF Plumber because I think it usually works better. Um, and this is just, a, a like I said, a single function that takes a path to a PDF file and it opens the PDF file. It will go through uh, each of the pages. Actually, it looks like it just extracts the first page because um, I had it basically build this for the format of those PDFs. And so it's assuming that the format will always be the same and extracts the text from it. Um, this is creating an empty dictionary. And then the, this creates a list of the lines from the file split by the new line characters. Uh, starting a new list for inventory items that it will append to. And now this part will just iterate through the lines. So for each line of all the lines, um, it looks for the vendor name, looks and assigns it to a vendor name in the dictionary. Same thing for sales tax, same thing for shipping and total amount. And then finally the remaining lines, if it's not one of these, it splits it and it's assuming that it's in a specific format and grabs the quantity the text for the items and then finally appends the uh, inventory items to that inventory items list. And so you end up with the details dictionary and the inventory items list. And then finally the details inventory items uh, piece of the details dictionary gets added from this inventory items piece and then it returns the details. Not too bad. I mean, this is obviously only gonna work for a very specific format. And that format is one that is not even a real invoice. This is something that ChatGPT came up with itself. 
uh, kind of looks realistic. So it must have had a template somewhere that it used, but um, pretty cool. Well, anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. That's all I've got for today. Uh, please uh, give me a like and a subscribe if you like this. And I uh, hope you see you at the next one. Thanks.